Hello folks, Russell Wright from Network Empire and ThemeZoom.com. Today I wanted to talk to you about a pretty cool article that I saw and how many of your visitors are logged into Google. It's the name of the article. And 11% of your website visitors are logged into Google. And that's pretty interesting. This is an article that was put out there by Russell Jones. He's an SEO. I've also left you the link to his article uh, on our website and on the video. And really interesting stuff. And the essence of the, vi of the article is that 89% are not logged in in his testing and 11% were logged in. Now, I know a lot of you are testing fiends and some of you are just business owners that watch my videos. So yes, there are always discrepancies in the way that people test, but I think it was a valiant effort on his part overall, uh, regardless of his conclusions. 135 visitors, 135,000 visitors over three months were tracked. And he goes into detail, which I'm not going to bore you with the details now about how he does that. And some of the problems, it's actually not a recommended way of doing it. I would consider it black hat, um, whatever you think by black hat. But it's interesting that the data he came up with. Now, the big data concerns, concerns, fears, takeaways, alerts that you might be aware of is the, he says the problem with losing 10% of your tracking data is not that the number of re represents a significant impact on your data at large. The problem is that it creates a real unavoidable selection bias in your Google Analytics that are more likely than not substantive differences between individuals who tend to be logged in and those who do not. Bottom line is that he doesn't like the fact that he really doesn't know exactly what's going on with the behavior. Those of you who are tracking fiends, it's actually subtler than that. You don't know the be it really does skew your visitor behaviors and your insights that you can derive from that. Now, I have an insight and upside. Uh, this is kind of what I take away and what I actually add based on our own proprietary insight is that neuromarketing uh, secrets is this keyword that I've just looked at. There's any keyword that you look at on here. The advantages of Google moving towards this kind of social media platform, regardless of those of you who think the plus platform is not going to work and so on and so forth. It's just, uh, you you got to understand how Google operates as a platform and how much time and money they have and, and how important this project actually is. Thing is, as you can see underneath these websites that came up, I'm currently logged in and you have my picture and it says you shared this. This is only the beginning. In fact, some keywords I have more than two or three people that have shared this item. Now, I only get to see the social proof on the search engine rankings when I'm actually logged in to my account. Now, I'm in the 10%, as they say. But this actually matters quite a bit, and we're going to see almost inevitably a massive increase in some markets, more so right now, admittedly, in the early adopters, which is probably the site that Russ was actually testing. But you're going to see a lot of more social proof tied in. I mean, I'm thinking upward of 50% by 2013, when you have local and everything begin blending in. Next to search engine results, you're going to see a lot of your friends and your recommended mentors and official experts who have actually created a good reputation for themselves following the rules of where things are going in the social graph. As buzz goes bye-bye and plus one increases, you're going to see advantages and significant increases in advantages of people who, you know, of wanting people to be logged in. In fact, the introduction to premium content creation course that I've got uh, for you, beginners, and of course the advanced course is one feed to them all, actually takes advantage of Google Plus and being logged in by creating feeds and proprietary things that we're talking about. Now, even if you aren't able to create a feed out of Google Plus, point is that as long as you start plusing and interacting and curating content on your own platforms, you're going to be in a really great position to take advantage of the people that are logged in, which is going to be a massive increase over the next few years, guys. Google has the ring, and you'd have to almost be a developer to understand why. And we'll talk more about that inside the membership area, and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.